Right, cool. I don't think the view's gonna get a lot more relaxed, chilled, more spectacular than this. Wow. Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. I'm here at Rockfish, which comes very, very recommended. Cheers to that. Before I crack on with my review, we have a sponsor. And this sponsor is very special, Main Unit Location Services. Who actually are the sponsor of the entire trip. Very, very cool. That's their logo. <laughs> oh, yes, get it on there. That's their logo. Chris and the team, thank you so much. I'm gonna put a link to, the co to their website in the comments below, but he's effectively supported the trip with no benefit or gain to himself because his business is set, secure, done. I can't really help him other than you guys. Go and show him some love on social media. So Chris and the team, thank you so much. Now Jess, Rockfish. People out there will know all about Rockfish, a few locations. We are at the one in Plymouth at the moment. Not, I'm not sure it's their, their, their flagship store. However, it's still very, very nice. Jess, you want to do a little pan around? Have a little look at what's going on. Very, very cool. Rockfish, very famous. They've got their own boat. Amazing. I sat on Instagram last night checking them out before and it's like, you know, you've got to fall in love with the business before you've even been there. It crazy. Um, so yeah, Jess, I've got the South Coast Dressed Crab. Now, this is our first shellfish of the entire trip. I can't believe it. Now, as a meal, that looks sensational, Jess. I'm more interested in trying the crab because we have the main event, <laughs> the cod and chips. Crisp fried cod and chips. I've been tipped off. This is potentially going to be one of my favourites ever. From someone that I really respect and admire. Let's find out. First thing first, let's have some of this crab, Jess. This crab, $22.95. So, the price point out there is tight. How, that being said, what a product, Jess. It's caught on their boat, isn't it? Just yeah. like around the corner. Now, crab fans will know how fibrous, I'm not sure if that's the right word, crab meat is, which gives you a wonderful texture. Here we go. <laughs> this is a true celebration of the sea. Do you know what I mean? Is it hot or is it cold? It's cold enough. Is it cold? You've got to try yeah. it with the, um, with the sauce. Do you know what I mean by that when I say celebration, Jess? Very good. <laughs> with so much uh, Buster, be quiet. Buster, you want some crab? Hey, boy. There's so much talk at the moment about sustainability, fishing with uh, sea spiracy. Guys, please get in the comments, by the way, if you've got a point to make about that. Um, fishing is at the heartbeat of Devon and Cornwall. Um, South Coast crab, get in my face. I love it. Something special about it. Jess, will I have some... So you've got um, to have it with the, the sourdough, with the mayo and the crab. Here we go. Maybe you need to put a bit of lemon on your, uh, your crab. Here we go, look. A lot of people, Jess, you know this, prefer crab to lobster. Partial From, to a crab stick, I won't lie. Crab stick? There's no crab in a crab stick, is there? <laughs> Got to be a little bit. I don't think there is. Here we go. Oh. Crunchy, crunchy. It's just good. This is, I suppose this is the main event. From a review point of view. Chips. Yeah. My crispy oh, cod. You need to put your own salt and Okay. I think Bus is still trying to eat that crab. <coughs> I gave him a massive call just to shut him up whilst we were doing the review. Salt on it all. Plenty of salt. I'm going to use both of these. So Jess, yeah, rock, I don't know too much about Rockfish as a business, other than what I saw last night. They run a, they run a very, very good marketing 
their social media is on point. They're running it like they should do. And they've also got this. Oh my God. No, Jess, you've got to smash it on. <laughs> God, you've got to smash it on. So yeah, I think, I think freshness is not going to be an issue here. I think we're actually like literally behind. Oh my God, look at that. Oh. This is Mr. Sandy's curry sauce. Okay, let's go, Jess. First things first. Let's try chip. To touch. I don't know why I've got another fuck man. <laughs> to touch. Incredible. Mmm. Last chips we had were battered. Is it nice to have a normal chip? It, it, it. it really is. Sorry for those of you that don't understand. <laughs> Eating talk. Chip talk. <laughs> Much more traditional. Great irregularity to the chips as well. They're not not all uniform, Jess. We've got some gnarly little crispy bits. Got some long. Jess got some long like seahorse looking motherfuckers in here like that. And do you know what? It is absolutely delicious. That just soft, crunching the outside. What we were what we were expecting to be fair now here we go you're gonna use your hands even though you got an open book. yeah i'm just gonna show you to the camera jess it's these crispy little bits on there jess here we go let's break it oh my god wow right, guys if i'm not um shouting about like a hillbilly that's because we are in a, <laughs> in a restaurant. active restaurant i can't be on the street bowling about like Donald McGregor all the time. Here we go. What a fantastic piece. So there we go, Jess. You've got that. Those little pockets of air, or as I like to call, aeration in the batter. Really, really important to getting that crisp crunched in your mouth. The fish look golden white. I'd love to, love to say it was brought in this morning on the boat, but I can't quote you on that. Probably not at all. It's probably, probably been frozen far. for weeks, but yeah, no. <laughs> no. Who knows? Buster. Do you want some more crab? Just stop. It's fine. Leo. Buster loves crab. Hey guys, if you ever looking to shut your dog up at a restaurant, give him the 22 pound crab, no problem. <laughs> there we go, down she goes. Straight away, I can tell you. It's a classic. This is, believe it or not, a classic fish and chip. No bells, no whistles. Just the basics done right. Now, that curry sauce, Jess. It's wicked. It's got the most wonderful flavour to it. It's absolutely amazing. It really is pieced it all together. So, Rockfish have got your full sort of seafood menu with some wicked sides. Some great sides, Jess. However, I've been told all about the fish and chips as well we're in. How does this stand up in terms of the fish and chip game? Now, fish wise, super delicious. Big, fat, meaty bit of fish. That batter is cooked to perfection. Pleasantly surprised, my love. I think I've been to, Jess, some of, we've been to, some of the best fish and chip places in the UK. I don't think we have. We're actually scheduled in this afternoon to go to the, what's meant to be the best one in Cornwall. I'd like to know how it stacks up against this. This for me is very, very solid. Um, yeah, this is right up there. Okay, let's wrap this up, Jess. Drink watch, by the way, was, Sam Pellegrino served in a nice glass with a bit of ice. Absolute touch. I really like the vibe of this restaurant as well, like right on the harbour. Branding's good. Yeah. The menu's clean. All the menu's Price on the point. table already, isn't it? It's just it's cool. I mean, this cotton chips was, was $14.95, so you're right up there on the price point, I believe. But maybe not actually for actually sit down meal. What do you think, Jess? Yeah, that's about average, isn't it? Yeah. I'll, I'll take it. 
I'll take it. So Jess, I believe there's a score today of an 8.8. .8. Very, very good. The basics have been smashed out of the park. Delicious chips, fantastic curry sauce, beautiful crab, great sourdough, super location, the sun is shining, I've got the sea behind me. What more could you want? Main unit lo location services, thanks very much for supporting another review. Um, I've enjoyed myself. Guys, get in the comments right now and let me know where we must go next. I'm all yours. Thanks for watching everyone. That was a review.